transition happening now. Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live, episode number 121, guys. I am actually back in the home studio right now. Uh, Isaac, you guys heard of Isaac, right? You know, we, the new guy we brought in. Well, Isaac is helping to rebuild the studio right now, and hopefully we'll be back in the studio at some point. But we're back in the home studio right now. Melina is with me. She's, she's closer today because we did a little bit different setup than we normally would. So... If you see a hand come in from the side and, and like swat me, that's <laughs> that's because she's closer today. Guys, this is Guys Talk Knives. I'm Andy. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. If you've never been to see us, please come see us in Sevierville. We are right off of exit 407 in, uh, off of I-40, about three miles, about three miles off the interstate exit. You cannot miss the big blue roof that's right there. Um, I know everybody's probably saying hello as they come in. I just want to say hello back. Hello, boys and girls. Uh, I'm glad you could join us on this Thursday before July 4th. Uh, I've got my good microphone back so I can talk like this right into it um we're gonna we're gonna do some cool stuff in this show today and especially we've got one that is an smkw exclusive uh that was partially designed by brian will hoyt who works with us uh, works for us at smoky uh, i think you're gonna love it i'm gonna hold that one to the very very end of course i do have some business to do uh before we get started last thursday we gave away one of the another one of those marbles d2 jumbo trappers uh and who won that? J.J. Haney. J.J. Haney won the Marbles D2 Jumbo Trapper. Uh, and I asked you guys what you were going to do for the weekend last weekend. And I thought it was pretty cool. Um, J.J. told us that he was going to take his girls fishing and golfing. Something that he doesn't normally do, but they always ask to do. So I want to know from J.J. when he sends us in his prize win, uh, his contact stuff. I think he just did a second ago. But J.J., if you're watching, I want to know if they enjoyed it. Did they enjoy it once they finally got to go fishing and, and golfing with you? Because I bet they did. I bet they had a good time. You need to buy those girls some knives if you haven't already. Because, guys, that's how we get more people in this industry. We add people to the industry by expanding the base. And that base needs to include more women. That is for certain. I want to give a little bit of shout-out before we get started, too, uh, to all of our ambassadors that are out there. And Melina's going to remind me if I miss somebody. Uh, make sure you're watching these guys on YouTube, following them on Instagram, because they do a great job of showing you new stuff all the time. And from time to time, we send them some swag as well as some uh, really nice stuff to show off. Uh, sometimes some fun stuff to show off as well. So first and foremost, Jimmy Slash. Go watch Jimmy Slash on YouTube. Uh, he is a Josh Belay is a great guy. Uh, his channel is awesome. He is so excited about knives. Uh, if you've never seen a brisket challenge, you need to see a brisket challenge. Uh, go play Noobers over with Jimmy Slash. Make sure you're following Zach stuff on uh, Instagram and on YouTube. Zach does a great job of getting in depth. And if you want to know anything about a Benchmade knife whatsoever, go look at Zach's stuff. Zach's right there. Uh, we've also got Big Red EDC, Jody. Jody, I love your channel. Uh, I, I like that. I like that when you do the unboxings for the care package and that stuff. I like that you uh, get in depth on the knives, and it's always so uh, I don't know unassuming. I think is the best word to say it. You show us the knives. You show them up close. You talk about what you like. Uh, it, it's really good to get. Women carry knives. That is a great channel to watch as well. Uh, guys, husband and wife team. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun. Women carry knives. Go see that. Who am I leaving out? Yes, okay, it's right. So those are standard YouTubers that uh, they're always... I just got attacked by a cat. I hope that everything is still going. That cat is going to be banished now. I bought her catnip the other day, too. It was called Meowwana. Had no marijuana in it whatsoever. Okay, so those are standard, uh, those are standard folks that are out there. Uh, they also want to call out Tobias uh, Gibson. Uh, Tobias has his own YouTube channel that I cannot think of off the top of my head at this moment. Knife Chats with Tobias. That's I like that one. Um, and then also One Big Pikey, uh, Ryan Shaner, does a great job. If you ever want to get excited about a Rough Rider knife or any kind of traditional pocket knife or just have a little fun watching a channel, watch Ryan's channel, One Big Pikey. You can find him on uh, Instagram under that particular name. And then we also have Casey Spiron, who is uh, Knives Fast. Spiron, Spiron. Spiron, it's S P I S P I R O N is how it's spelled, um, and his channel is called Knives Fast. But I just want to give a shout out to the guys because they do such a great job showing you knives. That's not us doing it, and I know we all just want to see more knives. Um, let's talk about something else real, real quick. 
Uh, let me see if I can put the graphic up here because I, you know, I forgot that we were doing this and um, I want to make sure that we see it. Where are you? There you are. Okay. If you like Spyderco and you're thinking about buying a Spyderco knife, if you do that right now and while supplies last, you're going to get a free Spyderco challenge coin. It's half dollar size. It's about like that. It is solid copper. Um, and it does have the Spyderco logo on one side and SMKW logo on the other. That is good with every single Spyderco knife purchase. So until supplies uh, run out, as long as you buy a Spyderco knife, it is not on all products. It's a Spyderco knife. You'll get one of those copper coins as well that I've put up in the corner of the screen. Uh, go check that out. And, and you, that even counts on those new custom shop uh, spider codes with the um, titanium handles and whatnot. We've got some special stuff in the custom shop. If you haven't looked at that, go across the top menu in, at smkw.com and click on custom shop. You're going to see that. Any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns? Two. Two. Say hi to Tom Gresser. Hi, Tom. And say happy birthday to Terry Arnold. Terry. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Terry. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, guys. I'm glad you're all watching. It is a fun Thursday. It's gorgeous weather here. I don't know what it looks like in your neck of the woods, but, man, we are having a really pretty day, which I'm locked in the house working. So that's the way it is. Yes? We just got a ping that the case event that was scheduled has been canceled. Oh, okay, so we can pass that along. So the case event that was scheduled, uh, and it was actually rescheduled, has been uh, been canceled. So that is not going to happen at SMKW. So on that negative note, let's start the show. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. <laughs> he asked us to tell it. Yes, Jason yes, did. yes, yes. Jason did. Jason's a negative Nelly. He's back in the office. We're at home. Um, Okay, so we're going to start off with a knife that I love today. It is a Made in the USA. If you've not heard of Olamic Cutlery, O-L-A-M-I-C. Olamic Cutlery, they make some, what, what are considered what, mid-techs? They're really kind of mid techy. They're not customs. Uh, they're not standard production. They're just really knife, nice crafted knives. I want to show you the whippersnapper. We've shown a whippersnapper before. It's a front flipper, guys. Uh, this is a front flipping knife. I usually hate front flipping flippers because I can't do them I just I can't make it work but this whippersnapper look at this thing boom that kills me how good that works right there put your thumb on the outside of it and boom it it it, it, it earns its name it is truly a whippersnapper right there uh, this is the Olamic Cutlery whippersnapper Warncliffe there is another version of this that is not a Warncliffe and there are a whole lot of different body styles on the site uh, you can go into the Alamic Cutlery brand and see all of those straight away. Uh, this one in particular features a 2.8 inch CPM 20 CV stainless steel Warncliffe blade. It's a very funky blade shape. It does have the stonewash finish. I like the grind on this blade. I like the finish on this blade. It's 0.14 inches thick, so it's over an eighth of an inch thick, which makes it good and sturdy. Again, it's a manual front flipper. It does have that thumb hole if you want to try to use it, and it has a caged ball bearing pivot system which makes this this action just i mean it makes this action like this every time boom every single time those are titanium handles and that's kinetic earth titanium so it's an anodization that looks like what they're calling kinetic earth to me it looks a little bit bronzish maybe a little bit in between bronze and uh silver titanium or deep gray titanium um, it does have bronze accents uh, all throughout. You can see that in the uh, screws, in the pivot, in the tip-up pocket clip, which is removable but not reversible. Check out that lanyard hole right there. This thing is a frame lock. It's a nice, sturdy, steel-reinforced frame lock in that titanium. This thing closes down to 4.1 inches. Again, let me show you what it looks like closed. That's what it's going to look like in your pocket right there, closed. That's the front. This is the back, and then when you pop this thing open again, I'm going to do it on camera again, see if I can. It just goes, and I love it. It is 6.9 inches overall once there, and it weighs about 3.39 ounces, made in the USA by Olamic Cutlery. Guys, what do you think of this one? What do you think? They love it? They like it. 
they like it. They're probably asking for it for the giveaway, and I'm going to say no already, right now, this very moment. Do not get your hopes up. This Alamic's not doing it. This thing is $465 at smkw.com. If you follow the link that's in the caption, you can get to all the products we're going to show today. You can do that after the show or anytime that you want. Uh, again, that's a whippersnapper Warncliffe. I don't know what the other blade style is. She is laughing her head off to the side over here. What? So, when the, you, I have the closed captioning up so I can see the words. Uh-huh. It changes a long neck to long neck. So, it's a long neck whippersnapper, <laughs> which was my nickname in college. No, because I don't have a long neck. Not at all. Um, no, the Olamic, uh whippersnapper Warncliffe. That's what that is. 465 at smkw.com. Made in the USA. Go check out Olamic Cutlery. They're making some really cool knives. Uh, we also have that one custom up. Yes. that we have uh go check that one out because it is a hand carved oh, it's, beautiful. it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful it'll be in the same section that you find the other stuff and it, is, it is a custom because it's one of a kind There's no yeah no it is truly a custom so and that's why it's got the what fifteen hundred dollar price tag 2, yeah is it twenty eight hundred yeah i thought it was fifteen hundred yeah. twenty eight hundred dollars on sezzle it's just four easy installments over a six-week period <laughs> <laughs> We're going to jump into a Baron Sun that's USA made right here. Um, this is the rank. I knew I was going to do that. I played with it before the show and got it. There it is. It's the Ranker 4. Uh, notice, guys, uh, it's very obvious that the Axis Lock patent slid away because there it is right there is the slide lock from Baron Sun. Everybody's putting slide locks in. You know, uh, Sog's got their arc lock and the uh, A. What is it? The AR? AT? Uh, they have XR, XR lock. XR lock. Yes. Yes, the XR lock. This is a slide lock. Uh, this is an EDC. It's more of a tactical look than anything on this particular knife. It's called the Ranker 4. Um, it is a thumb stud opener. Dual thumb studs right there. The blade steel on this is Sandvik. It's a 14C28 in stainless steel. Sandvik steel. It's got the black coating, so it's going to have nice protection. I like the jimping at the top of this thing. It's an eighth of an inch thick, so that's a that's a good size for a knife this size. I would say this is medium to large EDC right there. Handles are aluminum. Um, uh, what else we got here? It is a slide lock, so you can drop close. So you can do this, boop, and this thing closes down to 4.5 inches overall. Uh, 4.5 inches closed. That's the front of it right there. It's just, it to me, this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is a standard everyday carry pocket knife. It's not bad. It's got the lanyard hole right there. It has a pretty good grip for aluminum handles, I think. Um, because it has the slide lock, you can swing it open as well. So you just pull that lock down and swing it right open. 7.875 inches overall, weighs 4.41 ounces. Uh, it is made in the USA by Baron Sun, and this Ranker 4 costs $69.99. So $70 bucks over at smkw.com. Um, I actually like the action. I love these slide locks and the uh, axis locks because you can literally just drop them closed. I just think that's fun and nice. What do you guys think of this thing? I like it. Um, has a nice grip right there. Feels pretty good in the hand. Um, it's just... It's a little bit uh, bigger than a trapper closed. Uh, the pocket clip is tip-up. It is removable, but not reversible. Um, and it is not a deep carry. Oh, there's a glass breaker here, too. I didn't... I for, I, maybe I should read my notes every once in a while. <laughs> See the glass breaker? It's right there. Lanyard hole as well. A nice backspacer with some grip for your palm as well. That is $69.99 from Baron Son, made in the USA, the Ranker 4. Any questions, comments, thoughts about anything so far? I'll, I'll talk about anything. They, 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 they like, some of them like this. Bear. Yes. Uh, but somebody asked, On Friday? This Friday? Like tomorrow? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. While yes, while supplies last. It's going to, and I'm going to say that, that it's going to be there a while. Just say it. Uh, but uh, get them. The supply will run out and they will be gone. So if you want one of those collectible coins, get it right there. Uh, any other questions, comments, thoughts, concerns? Uh, not right now. Okay. So. Uh, we're going to jump into the next knife, and the next knife is a Civivi, 
Uh, it is the Captain Picardo. No, it's just the Picardo. Um, guys, if you don't know what Civivi is, Civivi is uh, made by We. Civivi is their budget-friendly line, and you know I have trouble with the thumb studs on this one, but I love this thumb hole that they're putting into the Civivi. See the long, narrow thumb hole right there? Um, what it allows you to do is stick your nail right in that hole. You guys can see that. I've got my arm at a really weird angle right there. But if you stick your thumb in that hole and you give it a flick, you get more leverage than you would otherwise. Let's see if I can get my arm out of a weird position. There you go. My shoulder injury. I'm getting old, folks. It's just terrible. I just typed the same thing. Yeah, of course she did. Of course she did. She's in, she's in a raucous mood today. <laughs> now, guys, don't make her mad today. She will get you. She will get you, and then I'll have to deal with the madness after you guys leave. <laughs> This is the Picardo from Civivi. It features a 3.94 inch D2 tool steel drop point blade with a black stone wash finish. They did a really good job with that finish. Um, you can see the stone wash in it, but it is darkened. It is not that standard, um, very light stone wash finish. It is 0.12 inches thick, so it is slightly under an eighth of an inch thick. Does have the ambidextrous thumb studs that you see right there. It is a liner lock that you see right there. It does have G10 handles. This is the gray version. There are a couple other colors that are on the site right now. Has a lanyard hole that you can see right there. And then it has the ambidextrous tip-up pocket clip. And that looks pretty darn deep carry to me. You're not going to hardly see that knife in your pocket at all. I like the open construction on it. I just like the motion on these. And that motion happens because there is inside this knife um, a bronze washer pivot assembly. So that... Uh, bronze washer makes this thing slide open really really easily again Civivi is the budget friendly line from we and that means this thing costs 56.98 at smkw.com just follow the link that's in the caption <coughs> dying over here the covid's getting me um so, but picardo this is the picardo let me show you what it looks like closed because it is 5.09 inches closed it is no slouch that is a full-size edc that's the front that is the back right there and then flicking this thing like that with your thumb it comes out to be 9.04 inches overall and weighs just 3.9 ounces uh, that is Civivi made by we she's laughing again what are you laughing at they're making fun of me over there a couple but yeah um jeff said <laughs> a couple yeah they're kind of making fun of you jeff said Giggling in the background, nobody would be afraid of me. <laughs> Shh. You guys watch out. She's more tame now after 24 years, that's for sure. Lord, the red used to come out. You had to watch out. We're from Tennessee. You set the red button off, and it's bad. It should get you. So that is the Civivi Picardo Gray at fifty-six ninety-eight. Look for the link in the caption. Go find that one, one of these for you at uh, smkw.com. Okay, I want to show you a knife that I know we've showed a couple of times. We've showed it a couple of different formats, but it's brand new. This, you know this knife. It's the Launch 10. It's the one they call the Claw. Do you know what I love about these Launch knives? What? This. Boom! You know what I love? They're cute. They're cute. They're cute. And they're I... anti-OCD. They are anti-OCD. <laughs> this is the Claw. It's the Launch 10 from Kershaw. I'm showing you this again because we've got this royal blue version in stock right now. The first version was black. We have an SMKW exclusive that is bronze. This one is a gorgeous royal blue. Um, let me tell you about this knife so you know what's there. It is an automatic. It is an out-the-side automatic. It features a 1.9 inch CPM 154 stainless steel modified karambit blade. Very funky blade. Looks exactly like some kind of giant claw right there. It is 0.12 inches thick. So it is just under an eighth. Look at that construction on the back, how that meets up so nicely. These handles are aluminum, T6 aluminum. They, these have been anodized royal blue. It does have the lanyard hole right there. Uh, it does also have an ambidextrous tip-up pocket clip, and it is made in the USA. I want to close this down again. All of these that are out in the side, it's a plunge lock, really. So you push in the plunge lock, you close it down, get the spring to lock into the handle. Here it is closed. This is how tiny it's going to be in your pocket. It is literally just 3.2 inches 
uh, closed. Once you use this pop, and man, is this a smile making pop right there. It's 5.2 inches overall and weighs literally just 1.8 ounces. Made in the USA by Kershaw. That's the launch 10. This thing is just 100 bucks. It's $99.99 at smkw.com. To me, both the launch 4 and this 10 are literally great pocket carry everyday carries for just the work that you want to do just the work you need opening boxes doing whatever scaring co-workers you know whatever you need to do with it just boom look at that that is a sweet little knife and i love this blue uh, i think i like this blue better than i like the bronze or the uh, black i think the blue really pops i'm gonna bet we see more colors uh than even just this blue i might not like to see a red do they have a red one of these well, I don't think we do yet. I know we don't on the site, but I'd like to see a red one of those. That's that's awesome. really, really cool. Um, again, ninety nine ninety nine. that's the Kershaw Launch 10, uh, available at smkw.com. Just hit the link that we're going to put out there. You'll see all the products that we're showing in the show today. Any questions uh, uh, right this very moment? Oh. A random one. Okay. When did you learn to read? When did I learn to read? Well, it was just last year. <laughs> No, I, my, both my parents are teachers, so we were uh, reading a little bit before kindergarten. Yeah. So, yeah. I, but, you know, I had to start kindergarten early, too, because I have a September birthday. So I was starting kindergarten at four. Early? It is early. September birthday is early. Yeah. It it's happened. Not. Whatever. Early. Whatever. It happened. <laughs> I started early. Read early. Not going to brag. <laughs> I'm a slow reader. It happens. What else we got? Any other questions? When did I learn to read? How did that even come up? You guys over there discussing pineapple pizza again? Talking. Okay, so last but not least today, this knife that I'm going to show you next is an SMKW exclusive from Case. Uh, this was going to be the cover item before the pandemic started. It didn't turn out that way, so now it is a web exclusive. That's right, right? This is a web exclusive. I know it's exclusive to us. I think we're just showing it on the web. That's where we're selling it because it did not appear in the catalog. This is a Case SMKW exclusive 10 dot 2020 Patriotic Kieranite Trapper. So that's part of a series here. The Patriotic Kieranite series is that red, white, and blue composite material called Kieranite. It makes unique handles every time you make a handle. So all of these look a little different. Kind of looks like red, white, and blue smoke. It is very, very pretty. But this, this knife is a limited edition. And I'm going to hit the regular stuff first so you know what's there. But then I'm going to show you what is special about this. True Sharp Surgical Steel Blades with a mirror polish on them. You can actually see my camera right there in that one. Uh, so they are super sharp, nice, and polished. Again, the Patriotic Curanite handles. And now we get into some of the funky stuff that you're going to see on this. These handles, the bolsters, are nickel silver, and they have the 10 dots. That's for the Tang Stamp change for 2020. So you've got five dots on each end. Those are engraved into those handles. You've got brass pins and liners. That's kind of normal. You've got the nickel silver bomb shield. But the one thing I want to show you, if I can, and get this in focus, see that tang stamp right there. Brian Wilhoyt designed that tang stamp. It is a unique tang stamp for this particular knife. It has a U.S. flag, the case number, and it even has the 10 dot pattern in it for the new tang stamp. This is going to be a collectible, guys. I don't know how else to say it to you. It is $69.99 at smkw.com. If you're looking for a case to add to your collection, this is truly a limited edition. It is not one of those, oh, we made 50 billion of them. This is truly a limited edition case knife. Uh, if you collect traditionals at all, this is one of the ones that you probably want to add to your collection. Again, this is a trapper, so it's a four and an eighth inches closed. It has the spade blade. It has the traditional clip blade. This is uh, Case's standard trapper pattern, but this one happens to be an exclusive for us with the unique tang stamp with the 10 dot bolsters. Um, and it's just gorgeous with those patriotic Kieranite handles. Let me show you the back again very pretty it is just so pretty 
I think that is a pretty, pretty knife. It's $69.99, guys. It's 70 bucks. So if you're looking for an investment for uh, keep this one pristine, uh, keep it in all its stuff, that is the Patriotic Cure Knight Trapper. It's the 10.2020 version, exclusive to SMKW. Are the dots on both sides of the bolsters? Well, let's see. The answer is no. So they're only engraved on the front side because we don't want 20 dots. We want 10 dots. Is the tank stamp different from the new 2020? It is. I don't know if I can get it to where you can see. You guys, can you see that right there? Because look, you can see the flag that's on one end, the case logo, and then uh, the dots come under that. And it's a little harder to see. Let me see if I can close this part of it and open that up where you can see the tank stamp more. There it is right there. Here, let me turn it so you can see. It is a very, very different Tang stamp. There's more of it. Look at that. Right there. So yes, it is different from the 2020. It is it, it, That Tang stamp's not on anything else. That's probably what makes it a really strong collectible. It's probably why it was going to be on the cover of our catalog. I don't know. I don't think so. I have not heard anything about it being in other patterns. I just heard it about. I just know that we have it in this trapper right here at seventy bucks, sixty nine ninety nine at smkw.com. Limited edition. When they're gone, they're gone. They're not going to be any more of them. Is that the giveaway? It is not the giveaway. Yes. Um, so the custom shop right now, um, and, and maybe, we'd, maybe we'd jump the gun with putting out what we had out there right now, but we wanted people to be aware that we were getting into this game with the custom handles on some different knives. That will continue to grow. Uh, I also know that they're doing some anodization and some custom handle colors. Uh, we've got some issues to work out with how that gets sold in our s online store. But if you keep going back and visiting that custom shop, you're going to see more and more uh, uh, customs uh, go into that section. Now, these aren't like custom knives as far as this is a custom Olamic. These are, we took a stock item and customized them. So custom, um, you're going to see things like custom uh pocket clips. I've lost the word pocket clip from my brain. Uh, you're going to see things like uh, customized handles, titanium, bronze, copper, uh, all on different uh, standard production line model knives. Is the retail store still open? Retail store is open. It is open and operating on regular hours. That is Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. We have been that way for a couple of weeks now. We'll tell you that our employees are all wearing masks for your protection. You do not have to wear them for hours. Uh, but, you know, come on, guys. Let's uh, do our thing. Are Keep we, each other safe. Are we back to filming at the house with no Jason? At the moment, we are back to the house filming with no Jason. Somebody missed the first few minutes. Yeah, no, that's fine. I can re-explain it again. So... In this process of moving forward, we are breaking down our studio space. Um, the mezzanine became uh, where we were filming for the last couple of episodes at the store became problematic. And it became problematic because the noise in the store, the connections and, and different things like that. We were not physically in the studio. So while Isaac is rebuilding the studio and getting everything reset to where we can have a nice, good quality video and audio show... You guys got me back in the house with no Jason. Now, that doesn't prohibit us from calling him on the phone and making him talk to us from time to time. But for now, you just have to deal with my ugly mug talking to you on Guys Talking Knives. Are we prepping up for the big National Knife Day? Oh, yes we are. The question was, are we prepping up for National Knife Day? And National Knife Day is what, just... Not far. It's like a, it's it's August. It's August twenty fourth. So we are very very close to having National Knife Day. I will tell you that we are already uh, in contact with our vendors and we are already loading up the loading up the giveaway bin. If you guys have not participated with us on National Knife Day, August twenty fourth over the last couple, because I think it's been three years now, two years I know for sure that are just we killed it. I mean, we just it is our high holiday at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. National Knife Day, August 24th. We broadcast all day long. We give away something every hour. We have the most massive sales. 
our vendors really love it so they jumped have jumped on and provided some great giveaways in the past and that is happening right now we also have some swag items that we give and we usually run some sort of uh, sale that day that is uh, pretty impressive as well so stay tuned we'll tell you more and more about August 24th and what those plans will be but that is National Knife Day and we don't we don't intend to let you down pandemic or hell or high water it is what it is we're going to do what we can do to encourage the knife community on National Knife Day August August 24th. Anything else? She just shook me off. Guys, I guess that's my time to tell you. We are brought to you again by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. If you're still going to Blade Show, come join us on August 7th through the 9th at Cobb Galleria in Atlanta. We are the title sponsor of the show this year, and as of right now, that show is still on and still going. So join us there for that. Make sure you're following us on Facebook. We do a giveaway there every Wednesday. Make sure you follow us on Instagram just because those story links make it really easier for you to swipe up and get to our specials so you'll see that in our story it'll just come through your instagram feed you can swipe up and go right to it uh, make sure you're following us on and subscribing to our youtube channel we do a separate giveaway there every single wednesday so if you're a smart person you could enter on facebook and on uh, youtube and have two chances to win two separate knives uh, if you go there, hit the notification bell because that's going to alert you every time we drop a new video. When these lives start, uh, the get to the point videos that happen every single morning, uh, any kind of giveaway video that drops every Wednesday morning, any kind of special whiteboard video that we do. And yes, I am still working on some whiteboard ideas. I've just been swamped with some other stuff at this point. Uh, make sure you're doing that. You can follow us on Twitter as well. We hit those things there. So if that's more convenient for you and the platform that you like, you'll see the Get to the Point videos come through every day and the Kick It or Card It thing that happens every morning as well and some announcements about these videos. But make sure you're following us all the way across that. If you've never been to our store, uh, make a plan, make a trip, enjoy the store in Sevierville. It is 108,000 square feet of absolute knife goodness along with apparel, along with outdoor gear, along with ammunition. There's Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo that resides right inside the store. That is a separate business, but it is inside of our store in Sevierville. That's I-40, exit 407, just about three and a half miles off of the exit. Look for the big blue roof. You cannot miss it. Question? Uh, Blade Show. Yes. Uh, any updates on Blade Show? Like I said just half a second ago, August 7th through the 9th. Uh, yeah. 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 Yes, title sponsor. We are there, and as of right now, it is still on August 7th through the 9th. Yeah, that was part of my little spiel just then. I know. I know. You're reading questions. I know. She can't do it all. Anything else? Anything else? I don't even have a knife on me today. But we're in the house. Of course we don't. Or do I? I don't. Oh, I do. I have my smile maker in my pocket. So look, let's do that. Let's compare. So this is the Launch 4. I get it to come in focus and this is the launch 10 that's the the size comparison I believe both of those are California legal um, by their length yeah farther. yep so I do have my Kershaw launch one it's it's I used to call this knife the small mile maker because <laughs> it's so quick and so snappy and it hasn't lost a bit of its speed whatsoever so what else we got? Anything nope. before we wrap this thing up? Okay, guys, we need to decide what we're going to give away. I cannot give away the Alamic. Uh, Tyler would have my hide for giving away a $465 knife. Uh, I'm going to keep this one out and available, too, to people who want to buy it. I don't want to give this one away because I think they're all going to go and go rather quickly as collectibles. We'll polish this one back up. It has not been cut with at all, and it will go back in a box and go back to be sold to somebody out there. Um... So, that leaves an automatic, which I cannot give away. And I cannot give away an automatic because not everybody can have one. <laughs> so, it, it would be such a shame. It would be such a shame to do that, right? That if you were, like, from New York, oh, I want an automatic. Oh, I can't get it. Sorry. So, I can't give away the automatic. You know what? I think I'm going to give away the bear. Um, I don't want you guys to experience this slide, walk, uh, this slide lock. So, we're going to give away the Ranker 4. That is from Bear and Son. It is a USA-made knife just for you. On July 4th, we're going to give this thing away. All we have to do is uh, figure out what they're going to do to do this. Um, 
let's do this. Let's let's say, um, what is your favorite part of the Fourth of July? What is your favorite part of Independence Day? You know, so a lot of you guys have had a lot of Independence Days in your life, a lot of Fourth of Julys. You tell me in a comment what your favorite part of Fourth of July is, and you'll get entered to win this. We'll draw for it randomly uh, next week, and we'll let you know on Thursday who has won this Bear and Son Ranker Four USA Made uh, Slide Lock Knife with Thumb Studs. Tell Tim Cook, uh, happy birthday tomorrow. Well, I can't tell him tomorrow right now. Well, do it. Tim do it. Cook, <laughs> happy birthday tomorrow. Enjoy it. You're a well, he's not born on the 4th of July. He's born on the 3rd of July. He's a day early. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. Nope. Okay, guys. We're brought to you again by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Use the link that's in the caption of these videos. Uh, that'll get you to all the product we showed you today. Go play around on smkw.com. Molina has been kind enough to handle you guys online and handle your questions and try to pass them over to me. My name is Andy. I am your host of Guys Talk Knives Live. This has been episode 121. We will be back on Tuesday. Keep your eyes peeled out there. Don't blow off your fingers or your hands this weekend trying to hold fireworks and shoot them at the same time. Have a safe and happy 4th of July, and I will see you on Tuesday. Take it easy, guys.